While the horse racing industry embarks on what it hopes will be a rebirth in the heart of Trois-Rivières, it's a safe bet that we've seen the last of the sport on the island of Montreal. The abandoned shell of the track formerly known as Hippodrome de Montréal, and for most of its existence as Blue Bonnets, is the only reminder that horse racing was once a thriving industry here. At one time, there were half a dozen operating racetracks on the island. As recently as the 1970s, there were still two, Blue Bonnets on De Carey Boulevard and Richelieu Park in pointe aux trembles Although thoroughbreds raced here first, Montreal earned renown as one of the top harness racing markets in North America through the 1960s, 1970s, and even the 1980s. Crowds of 10,000 and more were common on Sundays at Blue Bonnets, and patrons wagered an average of one million per day on local races. There were long lineups at the betting windows and clouds of cigarette smoke in the grandstand. By the end of the day, the concrete floors were littered with losing tickets and discarded programs. Blue Bonnets once attracted a crowd of more than 40,000 during the 1960s, at the time a record for a local sports event. Its colorful history included a riot, robberies, strikes, a police raid, and regular visits from some of the finest horses and harness drivers ever to set foot on a racetrack. But it all ended in 2008 with the bankruptcy of Attraction Ipic, a private company to which the government had conferred responsibility for running Quebec's four racetracks. A place that used to be one of Montreal's most attended sports venues has been vacant now for more than three years, awaiting the wrecking ball. The property has been sold by the Quebec government to the City of Montreal, which plans to set up a housing development by 2017. Even if there was money to build another track, it wouldn't be in Montreal. There simply are not any affordable, similarly sized properties available anymore on the island. When Bluebonds expired, it took with it all vestiges of a sport that had been firmly rooted here for 102 years.